Pastor Enenche denies knowledge of Osinachi's abuse. Hey guys, this is Lagos and the lead pastor of Dynamis International Gospel Center Worldwide, Abuja, Pastor Paul Enenche, has said he had no idea that the late popular gospel artist Osinachi Wachiku was being abused by her husband Peter Wachiku. Stay tuned to find out what the man of God said in this video. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share this video. And of course, activate the notification bell for more. Until her death last Friday, Osinachi, 42, was a lead singer in a Nenche's church. Her colleagues and relatives have accused her husband of beating her. In a recorded video broadcast posted across all his social media handles and on the church's Facebook page, Dunamis TV, Wednesday, Nenche said all he knew was that the late Osinachi and her husband Peter came to him for prayers when the former complained of chest pain over two months ago. Over two and a half months to three months ago, she came to see me with her husband with complaints of chest pain and respiratory distress. I prayed for her and prayed again, Nenche said. When the symptoms did not abate, I counseled that they go to the hospital to help us know exactly what we were dealing with and they asked if I could help them facilitate the process. I called our head of medical team, Dr. Osan, who is a consultant pediatrician with the Federal Medical Center, Kefi, in Nasara State, to assist to handle their situation. He called the FMC Jabi Abuja, where they attended to her. On seeing her, they ordered some examinations and investigations, including a CT scan. That was done, and from what the doctors saw, they felt there was a need for further investigation, either at the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital or the National Hospital Abuja. I called the doctor at the UATH, Dr. Ako Alexander, and told him the situation. The pastor said the late artist was later admitted and was responding to treatment before he heard about her death. The pastor said, Now, if there was domestic violence that led to or coincided with those symptoms, she came with two and a half to three months ago. There's no way I would know. If there had been perennial domestic violence, there's no way I would have known. The things we are hearing after her passing were very strange to my hearing. Then I began to ask questions. Then I asked the twin sister, were you aware that your sister passed through all these things, she said yes, that she knew some of them, but that the majority of them she heard only from those Osinachi confided in. I asked her, if you knew, why didn't you let us know? And she said, Osinachi always begged her not to tell the pastor or the church that the man would change and ask for prayers that continued but that continued to happen and then chief father said he asked osinachi's first son of what transpired between his mom and dad and he confirmed the stories he quoted the son as saying that he refused to speak up in order not to attract his father's anger the last one that touched me so much was a music producer came to see me in the office two days ago to tell me his own experience and how he witnessed that 
The man slapped the wife in his studio, he added. And then she insisted that all he knew about the deceased's plight in the hands of her husband were brought to his knowledge after her death. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.